Coastal Update presented to you by Nicole Smith at Remax of Gulf Shores. Nicole is a real estate expert that stays on top of the market so you make great choices. Let's take a look at the market. This report is for the first five months of 2023 for the single family residential market here along the beautiful Alabama Gulf Coast. The area we call Pleasure Island consisting of Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Fort Morgan and Perdido Key in Florida. We've gathered all the data from the Baldwin Realtors database, so let's look at the first five months. This chart shows inventory, the number of homes that were on the market, and on June 1st it stood at 420, up from about 250 the same time last year, so there's lots of options for buyers. This chart shows median days on the market over the last year or so, and as you can see, six months ago it stood at 50, it's now at 44, so about a month and a half for a home to be on the market before it goes under contract. This chart shows home sales on a month-by-month -month basis for the last two years. We've seen an upward trend over the last three or four months, and as you can see, 108 homes changed hands in the month of May. This chart reflects the first five months of 2023 versus the same time period last year. Total number of home sales was down about 30% to 460 homes. The average sales price grew 14% to about 787, but we like to focus on median, meaning half the sales were above and half were below. That number stood just around $556,000. The average dollars per square foot, that's heated and cooled square foot, grew 2% to $350. Next, we measure demand by seeing how many homes are marked in our MLS system as active under contract or pending. That number stood at 233. That's a 20% decrease over the same time last year. So as you can see, we've got a really active market. We want to be the experts to help you out. So contact us soon. In the meantime, we'll see you next month on Coastal Update.